So I wanted to give you a quick glimpse at the new Prusa SL1 resin printer. I got sent this from Prusa to review and uh, I'm glad I did because it's a it's an expensive machine and it's not something I'd have been able to afford without but it is actually surprisingly good it's a lot better than I expected and if it's value for money I, I would have to leave that as a decision for you but it does have a lot of features that the other resin printers do not have so one of the nice things is it's got a a lid on a hinge whereas if you're familiar with the Elegoo Mars which is over here you have to you have to lift this up so it's better to have a, a hinged lid for one-handed operation it's got a rigid plate that comes off by unscrewing this so that's another nice thing when you're scraping off the build plate you don't want to be a, having to adjust the ball joint afterwards so the, there is a ball joint for leveling but once you've done that once you don't really have to do it again because you're not actually scraping off of that this is another nice feature it's got a fill line and it actually senses how much resin is in it'll actually measure it I don't know how it measures it um, something for me to look into and instead of it just using the z-axis to peel away every layer it uses a tilting build plate and so that's less um, I guess talk on the print um, <laughs> another thing that shouldn't be a surprise but is different to the Elegoo Mars, the regular Elegoo Mars anyway the USB is on the front now one of the things that I am disappointed with if we go into network so yeah it's 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 got a wired and Wi-Fi connection great but it only tells you the progress of the print uh, it seems to be like a cut down version of Octoprint it's running but you can't upload prints, you can't upload files, you can only monitor progress, which is a bit of a shame. So, very nice prints, um, and I'll, I'll show you a couple in a second, but it's a great machine. Now, it's the same resolution as the Elo Mars. I don't really see any difference in the output quality, and... It uses Prusa Slicer, as you would imagine, rather than Cheeto Box. I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, Prusa Slicer does not have a feature for adding holes. So you have to use Mesh Mixer or Cheeto Box for that. Uh, I'm sure it's coming. You can do manual supports. As you see, I've added a lot of manual supports on these. The auto supports does miss items still. Um, I know that's something that they need to work on. Uh, even Cheeto Box needs to work on that, so you do have to do manual spots. They also sent me the cleaning and washing station, which is pretty neat. Um, so when you do a print, you need to cure it with UV, and you need to rinse it with isopropyl or an alternative cleaning agent. Um, this will clean it. It will cure it with UV lights that are at back, the back there and it will even dry it which is pretty neat as well and it actually senses what you've got in there so if I was to take out that metal bucket it would uh, sense that I want to dry and cure instead so that's pretty cool as I say I've got two Elegoo Mars I love the Elegoo Mars uh, the Elegoo Mars is about quarter the price, but there are a lot of very nice usability features with this system. So, it's expensive. If that's worth it for you, for your time and convenience, that's up to you. 
But I would say this is a better system for like uh, an office or a classroom. Uh, the Elegoo is more of a tinkerer's machine. And if anybody has the budget, then I would say the Prusa is the better entry into resin printing. Um, but I, as, as I said, the budget is the big sticking point. So down below, I will link to some example high res images so that you can see what the output quality is like. It doesn't really pick up very well on video.